Hello. Good afternoon. Just getting situated here. Got my laptop beside me so I can see if anybody hops on here and asks any questions. I hope everyone's having a great day so far. We are going to do some fun, simple floral using our brand new six color, uh, six colors of gel polish from Ugly Duckling. Of course, these colors are beautiful and definitely are giving me some spring vibes. Just give another second here. Get my brushes ready. Okay. So as I mentioned today, we're going to be doing, I've done um, a pattern similar to this before, but I instantly knew that I wanted to recreate it when we released these six new shades because they do kind of work in a gradient. Um, I'll put this one here and I'll show you what I mean. So we work from this beautiful kind of like buttercup yellow, which is number 209. Then we've got 210, 211, 212, 213. And then this very um, vibrant red is actually number 201. So um, these colors go beautifully together and uh, they just scream spring and summer to me. So let's go ahead and jump into it. I've gone ahead first and just uh, applied our number 44 gel polish to two tippy tips. These are our pointed almond. These are size number four. Let me just zoom in a little bit here while I'm working so you guys can really see the colors. So on my crystal palette, let's put some of the colors down here. If you guys haven't seen these, they're so beautiful. Let me just, sorry, my screen kind of, whoops. Okay, so this is number 209, this beautiful buttercup yellow. Put some of that down there. Then we've got number 210, which is a beautiful soft peach. Definitely a color that we were missing in the Ugly Ducking line, but now we have it. It's such a beautiful shade. Then we've got another peach, but slightly darker, and this one is number 211. working our way down we've got number 212 here which is another beautiful deeper peach we're kind of getting into like peachy coral at this point such a beautiful grad gradation of color there and then we've got number 213 which is this really vibrant corally shade not quite red not quite completely coral it's a very unique shade and then 201 is a beautiful bright bright red so perfect for that summertime springtime red <gasps> these are so pretty okay so uh like i said i started off with number uh 44 gel polish on my tippies pointed almond tip here this is a size number four and i'm going to break up my painter brush and then we are going to create kind of a gradient with our flowers with the shades so i started off with 209 because that's the lightest and then worked my way down through all the colors. All right. Okay, so I've got my painter brush. I'm gonna start with 209, this beautiful buttercup yellow. We're gonna paint our first flower. I always kinda of like to start at the top corner. And these flowers I like because this is something simple that you could do for your client if they decide last minute that they want um, some sort of art on their nails. These flowers are super kind of loosely shaped and not um, not very technical so you can really get away with doing them quick and um, add more interest to them by doing what we're doing today by kind of gradating your colors downward. Oh, not a camera here. Let me just, there we go. Okay. Next, we're going to go into 210, which is this beautiful peach. Beautiful, beautiful color, color payoff on these. These are so pigmented. I'm going to pick up a little bit more of my brush. 
So I'm just creating these loose petal shapes all the way down and we're changing the shade each time we start a new um, a new flower. So I'll make them kind of irregular too so some petals will be a little bit longer, some will be a little bit shorter. Irregularly shaped, they are not perfect by any means but it just adds character and makes the whole design look cohesive if they're all kind of irregular and quirky. Okay, now we're hopping into number 211, which is the darker peach. We'll do a little bit smaller of a flower, just so we can get more of it on the nail. So you can create um, flowers of all different sizes to add interest to your nails too, as well as different shades. So you can see this one has a longer set of petals here, and then kind of a wider one here, a shorter one here, and then we'll pull off to the side so that most of the flowers on the nail, but we imagine it finishing on the outer edge there. Okay, now, so we did 209, 210, 211, now we're going to number um, 212 which is this really deep, deep, peachy coral. I think we're getting into coral in this one. So beautiful. And I find these shades are very complimentary for um, all skin tones, which is really nice as well. Very loose shapes. Okay, we're not going to have room for all the colors on this nail, so that's okay. That's why I painted a second one um, with a white base, because then we'll carry on and we'll we'll carry on the next color to the next nail. So we're just going to have a tiny bit of number two thirteen here, just at the very end, just so we don't have a lot of open space. So this would just be some random petals. We can maybe bring these ones up a little bit higher just to fill in some space, but we are going to leave a little bit of room because we are going to have some black stems coming in with some of our black art gel in a bit. So we've got five of our colors here. <gasps> Crystal's here! Hi Sarah! Hi Carolyn! Okay, so let's pop this in the lamp. We're going to cure this and while that one's curing we're going to continue on with our color gradation on our next nail. So I finished off with number um, 213, which is this kind of like fiery coral shade. Very, very vibrant without being neon. Um, so let's continue with that. I'm gonna come up here, I'd flip my client around. Let's start on the opposite side than we did last time. So then let's make a larger flower here with this beautiful fiery coral shade. Hi Dawn! Is anybody in the comment section here? I know the answer, but I'm, is anybody joining us for the 5K? It starts this Sunday. We're very excited. Oh, the shade is so beautiful. Um, camera picks it up well, but it just doesn't do it enough justice. It's such a beautiful shade. You need to see it in person for sure. This is such a vibrant shade, like I said, without being um, in too like neon. Um, but still gives really, really great color payoff and is very, very vibrant. Just wiping my brush in between each color. I know you are, Dawn, that's why I said that! <laughs> okay, so I'm going to work um, backwards. I'm going to work... Oh, sorry. We still need to do number 201, which is this really rich, vibrant red. So let's pop this on here oh it's so beautiful we have some beautiful reds in our line already but I think this definitely fills in the gap because we have a really pretty um, like 45 and 47 45 is a really nice warm red 47 is a really nice cool um, like blue toned red then of course we've got some of our glitter reds and our shimmers but we didn't have like a super punchy 
um, red that's great for kind of spring, summer, um, even working into fall. And this is it. This is such a beautiful shade. Okay, so that is number 201. So let's, let's throw in some yellow here because we're getting a little bit darker up here. And um, our other nails, we kind of, we had a good balance. We kind of had a little bit of everything going on. So let's go ahead and add in some number. I'm not going to jump right into number 209 first because I don't want it to be too like jarring. So let's jump into number 210. We'll do part of a flower here. I need to clean off my brush a little bit more. We're getting a little streaky. Okay. down that color all right so ooh, this one's looking a little sharp on the edge so let's just round that out a little bit the colors are amazing which brush am I using I'm using the painter brush so this is just a regular painter where am I here the regular painter and we have the painter too of course which is smaller um, and more defined or for more defined work. Um, but this one is a great um, multi-purpose brush for sure. Let's grab some of our 209. Let's do a bigger flower down here too. Oops, wipe the brush. Crystal, would you? I keep um, I keep describing this as like a buttercup yellow. Do you think that's true I think it is because it's not like I mean it's soft and pastel ish but I think it's kind of like a buttery buttercup yellow again different from what we have in our line just making sure I don't have too much product on here so if I've gone a little bit heavy handed I'll just swipe some of the excess off before curing Okay, buttercup pastel, yeah, I think you're right. Okay, I'm gonna pop that one in the lamp to cure, and while that one's curing, we're gonna hop on back to our first one. Look at how pretty that is. So this is another way you could do a gradient without having to actually blend colors together. This is an option, just working down in your design with um, different shades. Sometimes more manageable than trying to ombre different colors together. So now I'm gonna switch over to my white art gel, which you can tell I've, I've loved very much. <laughs> it's at the bottom. <laughs> um, and then I'm gonna jump over to my Detailer 2 brush, and we're gonna do the center of the flowers. So we are going over this cured layer, and we're just simply putting a dot of, um, well, a wider dot of white art gel, and then we're going to kind of flick it out to create that inner, inner part of the flower. Okay, again, just, I've got a bit on my brush here, so I'm going to pull some off, and I'm going to use it on the other um, flowers as well. Our art gels, our gel polishes are all extremely, extremely pigmented, so a little bit does go a long way. The color payoff is wonderful, so with that being said, you're using less product which means your product is going to last you longer and go further. Okay, so I'm just putting these rough spots on right now. And again, not paying any mind to if they're perfectly shaped or not. And this is also giving my product time to self-level a little bit. Once I put the white on, because the white is thicker, art gel is thicker, um, slightly thicker in viscosity than our gel polish. So when you're applying it, if you apply it a little bit thick, you may see some um, strokes or some kind of lines from where you've applied the product. Just give it a second and it'll self-level a little bit and smooth out. 
Now this one, we're not going to see any of the center of the flower because it's just basically a very small amount of the petals there. So now I'm wiping off a bit of the excess on my brush. And I'm just going to start pulling the white out in random areas so we create little lines coming out. And I'll follow kind of the shape of the flower. Some are close together, some are further apart. I'm not adding any extra on my brush. I'm just strictly using what was on, like the leftovers on my brush, and then whatever I put on the nail here. Pulling that outward. It's been a little while since I've done a live tutorial. It's fun. I love hanging out with you guys in the afternoon. Okay. This one's looking a little too even, so I may pull some of that white out a little bit further in some spots. All right, let's pop that in the lamp. We'll cure that one, and then we'll do the same on the other one while we're waiting. Oh, love these colors together. All right. And these flowers are bigger, so the white center is going to be a bit bigger than what we were doing on the first nail there. And again, I'm using my Detailer 2 brush and my white art gel. I'm just pulling that outward. Now look at how beautiful that coverage is of that white over that coral color. Like that's a pretty vibrant color underneath and this art gel covers it no problem. So that shows the um, pigment payoff right there. Prime example. We'll wiggle that one on there. You could use your painter brush if you wanted to for this one, this part also, but um, I just know that I'm going to be pulling the product out with my detailer too anyways, and it's not a huge amount of space that we're covering, so I just choose to do it with my detailer too. Detailer too, painter, they're both extremely versatile brushes. And Painter too. I think those, uh, it's hard to choose because I like the striper brushes too. But I think that Painter and Detailer 2 are probably my go-to brushes, I would say. Hi, Delia! Okay. Getting a little too heavy handed with my white on my brush. All right, let's get these last two little centers of the flower in, in their spot. And then we'll work on the very center, which we're going to be breaking out our black art gel for. I got a little heavy handed there, so let's wipe off some of the excess. I'm just going to wipe off my brush. So if you're ever using our gel polishes and you find that um, you're having, you're experiencing any kind of rippling or anything like that, that is 99% of the time an indication that you are applying them a little bit too generously. Um, we always say less is best because our, our gel polishes are, are very um, uh, creamy, like a very creamy formulation and they are very pigmented, very pigment rich. So um, if you're ever experiencing that issue, just try um, applying them a little bit thinner, and I believe you'll have much better luck. I usually get that question um, just about how thin or how thick to apply them, and a little goes a long way with our gel polishes. Oh, 
oh, I, honestly, Delia, I, I don't even know what they're called. <laughs> they're like inspired by, oh, I wish I'm, I'll have to look on Instagram. They're inspired by a pattern by a fashion designer, I believe. Um, so this is what they'll look like when they're all done. And I've done them before. I mentioned earlier, I did demo these a long time ago, but I wanted to redo them because of the new colors, because these colors are beautiful for this kind of design. I did these before and just used different colors, so you can get different looks using different shades. Like this one is definitely summer to me, whereas this one works um, definitely for spring because of the yellow and like the the peach and the coral, but it could also kind of transition transition you into fall because some of those darker colors in there too. So I don't know if the flowers have a name, <laughs> but they're fun to paint and they're easy to paint. So they're good in a pinch when you're in the salon and you need something quick to do on a client that wants art last minute. All right, so let's break out our black art gel. I'm just going to clean my brush here on a wipe and perfect now let's hop into our black so black art gel and we are just going to create almost like a jelly bean shape in the center of that white so I've got a little bead black art gel on my brush I'm gonna lay it down do a little swoop you can make one side fatter or one side skinnier or one side longer key is to just plop it down and not overthink. If you need to go back and add a little bit more, you can. Oh, that pigment is so beautiful. Alright. And while we're here, hey Sandra! Okay, while we're here, we're gonna do the little stems too. So, to do the stems, I just pick up a little bead of black art gel on my Detailer 2 brush, the very end, and we're gonna plop our brush down to create a wider end of the stem and then drag it up to where some of the petals meet, releasing pressure as we go up just to make the stem a little bit skinnier. Let me drag this down a little bit more. Okay. And I'm using these to fill in any really, really open white space. So guess what? This one, there may be a flower over here somewhere. So, oh, thank you. Sorry. We're going to just put a stem over here to make believe that there's a flower over here somewhere. This stem is going to come off the side here. Always helps when you're painting if you make sound effects. <laughs> now here's where it gets a little tricky. Let's do... One over here, and we'll just drag it over to this little one. We'll pull it up in that peach just a little bit. And then we'll come here. All right. Let's put this in the lamp, we'll cure this, and we'll work on that other one while that one is curing. So our gel polishes and our art gels, if you haven't used them before, as well as our top coats, are all a 60 second cure in our um, LED light. Love these, simple, and you can do any color combinations, make them great for all seasons. Exactly, Sabrina, exactly. I love a versatile design that you can just easily recreate, but get a different look by switching out the colors. You could even go really fancy if you wanted, and I was contemplating it, but I decided just to stick with our new colors. You could even replace one of the colors in your flowers with like one of our glitter art gels or something. So this would have looked really cool if we had done 
um, a gold flower with the white center, just random here and there, or even did the centers gold or something like that, gold sparkle. So you can really um, and make it nice and simple, or you can kind of go above and beyond and add little details here and there that make it even more intricate. A little jelly bean. A little pointy there, so just round it off a little bit. This one's going to have just a tiny bit because we're only seeing half of the flower, so we're going to do a little half moon of black there. This one's going to be thicker on this side. Just swoop over. Thicker. Swoop down. Okay. Let's do our... Ooh, 54 color gel. That would be beautiful too. Good call, Christigal. Do the stems here. Perfect for clients when they say just do anything. Exactly. It's always nice to have something in your arsenal on, on the ready when somebody says just do whatever you want because there's nothing worse than being caught off guard and then trying to think last minute, oh my gosh, what do I do? Okay. Should have gone over a little bit more with that one, but that's okay. Hmm. What do we think? Maybe. It seems like we're missing some black down here, so maybe we'll do... Just coming from here, I guess. We'll just pull that up a little bit. Pretend there was a little split in the petal there. And then up here we'll do just a little one. Just for balance. But I also need to know when enough's enough, so I'm going to leave it now. <laughs> and pop that in the lamp. We'll cure that one. They do actually, it's funny you mention that, especially um, color number uh, 201, which is this beautiful vibrant red, and then 213, which is that kind of fiery coral, um, definitely giving poppy vibes for sure. So this would be a neat thing to do for Remembrance Day too. You could do different shades of red um, and give it kind of a modern take on a poppy nail. I'm just going to put my lid on my art gel here and my brushes because if you've ever tuned in, I say it every time, but it's the truth. I'm very clumsy and I'm prone to spilling things. Whoops. Am I still frozen? I'm back? Okay. Perfect. I need to try this. I like the idea of a glitter flower. Yeah. Dawn, you need to try it. If you do it, we want to see it. Tag us in it. I'm up for a glitter flower. <laughs> I'm up for glitter anything. Okay. We pop that over there. Let's go ahead and seal these. We are going to seal these with our No Wipe just because I love how they look shiny. They look really cool matte also, but these colors are so vibrant. I want them nice and glossy. Using our no wipe top coat, we're just going to do a nice even layer of that over our entire nail. I love putting top coat on, it totally smooths everything and just makes everything look so cohesive. Okay. All right. Let's put this one in the lamp. We'll cure this one as we're top coating the other one. Oops. There we go.
So the possibilities with this one are endless. And luckily, you guys, we have quite a few colors in our gel polish and our color gel range. So your color combination possibilities are endless. You can mix and match our color gel and our gel polish, which is awesome. And I do it quite often, especially when I'm creating um, press on sets or floral designs and that sort of thing. I definitely custom mix my own shades. I mean, we have a lot to choose from, but sometimes you just need that certain shade and you can easily mix it with your gel polish and your color gel. And your art gel too, I do that quite often. Alrighty. Let's cure this one. And that's that, easy peasy, or super simple floral design you guys can have in your arsenal for like, when Sabrina said when a client asks you just to do whatever, now you have something that you can pull out of your pocket. So let's look at these colors one more time. Let me zoom out just a teeny tiny bit. A little bit more maybe? Okay, so these are our beautiful new spring summer shades. <gasps> I love them. And if you wanted to create a traditional ombre with them, they do that beautifully too. I was playing around with it at home. And just because they're so complimentary and they're all in the same palette. Oh, pardon me. Sorry. A little hiccup. <laughs> um, because they're so complimentary and they're all in the same color palette, they blend beautifully. So you could create a really gorgeous ombre with these as well. So let's bring those nails out of the lamp here. We'll put them beside our others and we can see the final set. Let me just pop that on. Let's zoom in a little bit more. Yeah, Delia, let me just show you one more time because they are really pretty. <laughs> We're super excited about these. So just to recap, we've got a beautiful kind of buttercup pastel yellow. A gorgeous peach we've got a darker peach we're getting into kind of more of like a corally kind of um, shade here a corally peach definitely more coral I think then I'm, I'm dubbing this a fire coral <laughs> because um, this one is just it's not quite fully coral it's not quite like peach it's very much a, a color of its own and then we've got beautiful number 201 here which is a super vibrant um, spring, summer, red. Very, very um, punchy. Let me move those out of the way. So this is my first live with you. My question is, what's the difference between color gel and gel polish? Well, that's a great question. They both are um, a soft gel, and they both can be used for nail art or for full color um, nail application, um, encapsulation. The main difference between the two is that color gel is slightly thicker in viscosity, and it is applied with a gel brush from a pot rather than our gel polish, which comes in a traditional polish bottle with a polish brush. Um, some people prefer just to apply their, um, their color with a gel brush out of a pot, and some prefer to use the gel polish method. So we wanted to make sure that we um, had both options. And um, like I said, both are beautiful for nail art and both are beautiful for uh, full nail color. They're very versatile and they are interchangeable with each other so you can mix and match your colors between the lines as well. So there we go. Our simple... Hi Kate! When you put color on your palette, doesn't the uh, color cure? No, your English is great Nancy, no problem. So it, um, depending on the light you use, if you have a, a light at your desk that is LED, over time, yes, the top layer will, st will start to cure. Um, but if you keep it away from your lamp, and if you kind of move it away to a darker area when you're not working, it should be fine. I did have a lamp at home a long time ago that was a thin kind of LED strip light, and it did cure um, my gels faster than what I'm using now. So I use a ring light, and it seems to be just fine. No problem, Carolyn. I'm glad I I'm glad I could answer that for you. I hope it helped. Hi, Kate. 
So like I said, there we go. This is a simple floral design that you guys can have in your back pocket for when your clients ask for something last minute uh, using our six new Ugly Duckling Gel Polish colors. We're super excited to have them in the line, and we hope that you guys enjoy them as much as we do. So with that being said, I think that is it for today. Um, as always, if you guys have ever any questions, please feel free to reach out to us. You can email us at contact at uglyducklingnails.com or you can phone us directly at the uh, head office here. We're here Monday through Friday from 9 a.m. to 5 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. Uh, you can find all of our contact information on our website, which is uglyducklingnails.com. And, oh, Kate, great. Oh, we're excited for the 5K, too. And I'll be seeing you on Sunday morning. I'm, I'm first one up in, in the 5K roster. So we'll be sending, spending Sunday morning together, Kate. <laughs> Thanks, Christical, for hanging out in the comments. Oh, yes. Thanks for reminding me. So for um, this month, you can actually purchase this six-pack of our new polish colors. You can purchase them as a six-pack. We have uh, that option on the website at a 10% discount. So that's a pretty neat deal too. Um, and I know um, we always uh, have our gel polishes available for uh, individual purchase as well, but this is a great deal and it would be hard for me to choose which colors to keep and which colors to get rid of. So the six pack is a great option if that's something that you're interested in. Oh, Sabrina, yes. I knew that was you. I, I, I don't always want to just assume because people do have the same name sometimes, but Will you guys have product at Back to Beauty Show? Yes, we will. Me and Christical will have an Ugly Duckling booth at the Back to Beauty Show, so be sure to stop by and see us. Um, and we'll have a bunch of our Ugly Duckling products there. And we'll be hosting a class as well. We're, we're doing a class at um, Nail Techniques the day before the show, so there'll be more information about that on their website if that's something that interests anybody. Um, yeah, Christical, any last words before we head off here? I just don't want to cut you off in case you have anything you need to say. <laughs> yeah, we're doing a class, exactly. So, did you miss it? Did you miss which, Sarah, the live? I'm just finishing up now, um, but as always, I'll post it. Uh, you can watch it back if you'd like, Sarah, if that's what you're referring to. Or are you referring to the show? Oh, <laughs> that's okay, Sarah. I'm going to post this live um, and you can rewatch it back. Just a simple loving the color gels. Any sneaky info on new colors? Ooh. I don't know, Anne-Marie. <laughs> I don't know what information I'm allowed to divulge, so I'm not going to say too much. <laughs> I don't want to get in trouble. Um, but maybe that'll be a question for another day. We'll just leave it at that, if that's okay with you. The Back to Beauty show is in um, Edmonton. It's in Edmonton. And um, you can actually, I think, um, let me just see here. They have a an Instagram page. I'll just give you... Um, oh my gosh, I'm, it's hard to type with these gloves on. Even though they're just thin, it's hard to type. Just one second here. I'm just getting the information for you guys. Back to Beauty. Back to Beauty Show is their Instagram name. Back to Beauty Show. Um, and it's May 29th in Edmonton. And if you go to their Instagram, they have a whole bunch of information on what's going on, who's going to be there, who are doing breakout classes, what companies are there. Uh, they're doing some really awesome door prizes and giveaways. Um, just from what I see here, there's some Garth Brook tickets. Um, I think I saw uh, an Apple Watch. And I mean, there's some really awesome people coming to this show. And it's going to be so much fun just to be back with... Um, all of our nail tech friends and family, and it'll be a good time. You just got your boxes. You just got your kit, your 5K kit. Have you opened it yet, Kate? Have you peeked inside? <laughs> I just need to see if Kate's peeked inside. I'm curious. I'm curious, I'm curious, I'm curious.
Yes. <laughs> oh, good, Sandra. You got yours. Excellent. That's awesome. Well, I hope you guys enjoy diving in there. And for those of you that are joining us for the 5K this weekend, it's okay. <laughs> it's no problem. We want you to look at it. But like we said, just try not to use anything or get rid of anything that's in there because it, you may be one of the lucky um, kits that wins a prize for a certain reason. So with that being said, thanks again to Christical for hanging out in the comments section and helping us out, me out. Yes, we can't wait to see all the ducks. We can't wait to see the creativity. Um, with that being said, thanks you guys so much for joining this afternoon. And I guess for those that are joining on Sunday, I will see you on Sunday morning for the 5K. So have a great rest of your week, and we will see you live next week sometime. Have a good week and a good weekend. Bye.